Hi guys. So to make the colonial hat, you will need the stencil that I've provided to all the teachers. You're going to trace this three times. And you can use regular poster board or you can use construction paper. Construction paper seems to hold up just fine. Um, you need to have it be approximately let's see, um, 14 by 22 inches because that will allow for a good length. If it's smaller, if it's standard size construction paper, it's not going to fit. So you need the, the longer pieces. So you're going to cut out three pieces from the stencil. And quite simply, what you'll need after that point are staples. So you're just going to staple them together. You can use two staples for that portion and then you can hit it again further in so it will have a nice um, triangular shape once it's complete. So you're going to attach the bottom portion first and then you're going to get the top. So we're going to do the same thing for all three sides. And last one. Okay, so what you have now is just a triangle. And then you're going to do the top, which is you know a little bit trickier. You're going to need to kind of fold over each one, just slightly overlapping. I'll demonstrate. So you can see this is overlapping this one just a little bit. So we're going to get that with the staple. Again, this part takes a little bit more finesse to, to kind of coax it into place. In some ways, construction paper is a little bit better for this portion because it is more flexible. But both will work. You can get that twice if you want. And you're going to do the same for the other ones. You're going to overlap one while the other is underneath. Usually two staples is in order for this part. And it's okay to leave a hole in the top. That's perfectly fine. Um, that makes it actually more wearable, like it can fit more heads, more different head sizes that way. So there you have it. Um, it's that easy. And then what you can do is attach like a little fringed piece of paper to make um, a feather. So I will have that stencil for you as well just to staple or to glue or to tape um, the little feather on the side. That'll be important for at least the first and second grade team because they're singing Yankee Doodle and they call for the, the feather on the colonial hat. So I will provide that stunts as well. And you just, you trim it as like a fringe. It's very simple. So um, lastly, for the colors, white, red, or blue are very appropriate for this. Um, you can get creative with your students. You can do like the red, white, and blue or silver um, stickers. You know, they, they can decorate the hat, but um, as far as the color scheme goes, it, it really should be red, white, or blue or silver kind of tying in with that. If you have any questions, I'm Ms. Corrigan, and you can always come to my room 341, or um, you can email me. Thanks.